Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I'll be showing you how to copy custom GameCube save files from your Wii's SD card onto your GameCube memory card. So you will need several things for this video. You will need an SD card. My 4GB one wouldn't work with this, so I had to downgrade to my 2GB one in order to copy the files across to my GameCube memory card. You will also need a GameCube controller. It doesn't matter if it's a third party or official, they all work. You will also need a GameCube game of your choice, um, you just need a disc version. Alright guys, so once you've connected your SD card to your PC, you want to head over to these two links in the description. The first link is called GameCube Saver, this is just the main program, so you want to go ahead and download it. So once you've downloaded the GameCube Saver, next you want to get a save file for the GameCube games that you have. So I chose Mario Sunshine since I have the disc version, so I'm just going to find so what you want to get is the GameCube USB memory adapter save and then for your region. So I don't live in America, so I'm going to go ahead and get the Europe version right here. 100% complete with 120 shines and a Hawaiian shirt and sunglasses. So I'm just going to go ahead and download this version. Um, probably Game FAQs is the best place to get GameCube save files, so I'd recommend um, searching out their website. So once you have your two files in your downloads folder, the first thing you want to do is just rename your main um, GameCube save. So I've got Mario Sunshine, so in all capitals I'm going to rename it to MS. So you want to give it just two um, letters and make sure they're all in capitals. Then you want to replace the GCI bit with all in capitals GCI. You're then going to right click and go to new, then select folder. This is where you're going to type in GameCube, so GC underscore saves. Then you just want to copy across your save file into that folder. Then next all you want to do is just do right click and then extract here on the zip file. It's then going to give you these two files, you don't really need the readme file, but it does have some information if you're um, getting some errors, so you can always follow these. The other thing to note is you can only have one save file in here at a time because you can only copy across one at a time to your memory card. So if you guys want to copy across another one, all you have to do is plug your SD back into your computer and then delete the old one and put a new one in. So once you've got these two files, all you want to do is copy them across to your SD card. So this one right here goes inside the apps folder. And then this one right here just goes on the root of your SD card. So once you've copied these files across and it's looking something like this, you can then disconnect your SD card from your PC and put it back into your Nintendo Wii. So now guys you just need to plug everything into your Nintendo Wii. So first of all you just want to plug in your memory card. You want to put it into slot A. Um, slot A is this one right here. So just go ahead and plug that in. So once your memory card is plugged in you can now just go ahead and plug in your controller. Um, ideally you want to plug it into the slot 1. And now once everything is on your SD card, you can go ahead and plug that in. And now you just want to go ahead and just put your game in. Okay guys, so once you're on your Wii, go ahead and open up the Homebrew channel. From here, you just want to go ahead and launch up GameCube Saver. Now this is the part where you need to use your GameCube controller. So what you need to do is press A to write a file into GameCube slot A, or press B to write the file into GameCube slot B. So mine is plugged into GameCube slot A, so I'm just going to press A. So I'm going to say, um, would you like to copy Mario Sunshine.GameCube? So I'm just going to press A for yes. It's then just going to copy it across to the memory card. Now you are going to get this error every time, and the developers haven't actually been able to fix this yet, and they've probably given up. So once you hit this page, all you want to do is just hold your Wii's power button until it turns off. Now go ahead and launch up your GameCube game.
Okay guys, so it's now just going to search for your memory card. As you can see, I'm a Mario Sunshine, and it has come up in slot A that I have 120 stars. So I've never really played this game, so that must be the safer working. So I'm just going to go ahead and start it. And there you go guys, that is how you import custom GameCube save files onto your Wii so you can play your GameCube games with any save file you wish to. So that is pretty much it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.